Hey guys, this week I'm finally doing a project that I've been thinking about and ignoring for years and that's a gonk. Initially I wasn't going to make one but I just keep seeing them everywhere I go. I mean they are even in Primark so I figured if I'm going to make one I'll put my own spin on it and make it half gnome and half gonk. Aha, I have you intrigued. I guess that doesn't make sense now, but it will, pinky promise. Just bear with me. Anyway, let's get started. I chose to go with the traditional garden gnome colours. I mean, traditional in the sense that if you type in garden gnome, you will get one that has black shoes, sort of brown or green trousers, the blue top, and of course the red hat. I will also be using the white for the beard. I'm mostly using the chenille yarn with some acrylic and as always I will leave a full list of all the materials I used in the description box below. I started off with the boots and I crocheted them off camera. Since I'm using the chenille yarn I decided it didn't make sense to make boots separately. So with this gnome, I just keep the shoes as they are and continued up the leg using the trouser colour. I then joined the two feet together and continued crocheting the lower half of the body before switching to the shirt colour. Once I was done crocheting the torso, I moved on to the arms, continuing with the shirt colour. At this point, I wanted the gnome slash gonk to have poseable arms, so I added some armature wire, lightly wrapped it in some quilt batting and inserted it into the arms before I attached them. I did a few more rows on the body before stopping and stuffing the entire thing. Surprise! I did a nose. No one knows what I really have planned. <laughs> but I'm dish. Um, anyway, so for this I crocheted a round ball and sewed it on just a few rows below the top and lined up with the arms. So yeah, that's the placement of the nose, but I will be doing this later on. Moving on to another first, facial hair. <laughs> I know, right? This video is just full of firsts. Okay, so there's two ways to make this beard and the first one, well, I'm not going to show it because obviously I chose to go another route, but one way to do it is to um, imagine this skewer as the top line of the top of the amigurumi. So to make the beard, I'm basically going to take these strips of yarn and then just string them up. We're using a lark's head knot along the front. So obviously I'm doing it on the skewer, but you can imagine it on the front of the amigurumi itself. At this point, you can double knot it or leave it as it is. It's entirely up to you. And then finally, just cut it in a triangle or trim it in the shape you want the beard obviously this is a very small sample so it's going to end up looking more triangular but you're going to want to shape it the way you would want your beard to look so as i mentioned i'm not going to be using this way i did consider it but i decided that i wanted the textures to be the same so i'm just going to get that out of the way and get started with the method I did decide to choose. So using the white fluffy yarn, I crocheted a triangle, working my way up increasing as I went. Now once I get this to the right length, I will then sew it onto the right place at the top rim of where I've ended the amigurumi. 
So why did I choose this method over the other one? Well, the first one is a little bit more work, to be fair, and I would have to sort of undo all the plies and then brush everything down and I just really didn't want to go through all of that. I mean, it's a look, it renders a fluffier, more realistic beard, but I wanted this beard to be a bit more sculpted and like I mentioned earlier, just to stay within the same texture. So I wanted all the textures to be fairly similar. But you can do it the other way if you want a fluffier, more natural looking beard. I say natural, it'll be incredibly soft because it's yarn. It's brushed yarn. To sew on the belt buckle, I had to use the extra large embroidery needle and that's the only one that I found that seems to work with this yarn. Anything smaller will just shred the yarn. So I just basically went from the inside and then I just sewed a square buckle around the belt just to give the hint of the belt buckle. So this is the part where it's going to be more gonk than gnome because there is no head on this thing really. I crocheted a longish hat using the red chenille yarn. I started out with a thin triangle and then slowly tapered it until the rim of the hat fit neatly across the brim of the body but slightly overlapped to make it look like it's you know curled over and hiding most of the face. That's the look you're going for. So later on I will also be stuffing the hat because there's no head, you know, so it has to have some structure inside and then sew it on later. So you'll be seeing that in the reveals. And with that, all that's left to do now is to sew the hat onto the body. And while I do that, I'd just like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you'd like to see more, please like, share, comment, and even consider subscribing if you like the content I create. And if you're feeling generous, then please also consider buying me a cup of coffee on Ko-fi. The link to my Ko-fi page will be linked in the description box below. Don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And now I'll leave you with the beauty shots and see you in the next one. Bye.